Hello my angels, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about the 2019 fashion spring trends. Now I always like to say beforehand that if you do not like a trend, no big deal. You are not obligated to wear it. It is there if you want to experiment with something new in your closet, if you feel like this is something that will fit your personal style, because personal style supersedes trends. It's something that you will rock and wear proudly. So if something in these trends speaks to you, you want to wear it, it's going to make you feel fresh and current, then fabulous. Honor that. Have fun playing with it. But if not, just move along your way. The first trend for the spring season are earth tones. Earth tones are beautiful. I love that this is a trend for this season. You've really seen a lot of beautiful beiges, sands, khaki colors, creams, stone shades, all of these beautiful earth tone uh, hues coming down the runway and they just look so elegant. For me, this is a very easy and wearable trend. It's something that will not only give you longevity because it's a neutral, it's something that will blend itself well into your closet, but this is also something that could be great investment pieces. So if you are someone like a capsule wardrobe user, or if you really like to thoughtfully put together your closet to make sure you are getting that versatility, this could be a wonderful trend to start experimenting with and find some of those really nice classic pieces that you'd like to add to your wardrobe and get them in investment items if that's what you're looking for. So beige out of all the neutrals is the one that in particular is the heavy hitter. You're gonna see a lot of the beige tones coming out everywhere in stores, but earth tones in general, again, I think are so elegant and you're gonna be able to have a lot of fun. Next trend for spring are polka dots. Polka dots are great classic print. Now in particular, we saw it coming down the runways in a lot of black and white, but that doesn't mean that you won't see it in splashes of color this summer as well. Some of the other colors, which we'll talk about in just a sec, are blues and yellows in particular. You'll see a lot of that, I think, in polka dots as well. I personally think that would be really fresh, but this is one that I really, really love as a print because it is a classic. So again, if you wanna go ahead and invest in a polka dot print of some kind, if especially if it's something that really speaks to you and you enjoy the print, then this is gonna be a fabulous time to do so because you're gonna have so many options and varieties for cuts in shirts, dresses, pants, uh, even accessories. Polka dots are just going to be absolutely everywhere. Just as a style tip, the other reason I love polka dots is that if you have a very curvaceous body, putting a curvy print over a curvy body actually looks really flattering. It creates a lot of harmony in the look and in the body. So this is a really beautiful print to try and play and experiment with. The next trend is personally not something I'm a fan of, but I know you will have seen it in street style wear already. It hit the runways pretty strong, and that is biker shorts. I can't believe I'm talking about biker shorts, but yes, it is a trending thing. It hit the runways on Chanel, which I know... Chanel story, which I know a lot of people were very surprised about. And it's definitely one of the forerunners in terms of the trends this season. And designers are trying to make it a little bit more sophisticated this season by experimenting with the idea of layering it with pieces such as blazers and blouses, longer tunics, things that will help elevate the biker shorts. And they're pairing them with anything from heels to sneakers and ankle boots. So there's definitely a lot of variety in how you can play with this feature in particular. However, like I said, I personally am not going to like more than likely, I, I can't see myself investing or playing with this trend. I can appreciate that some people love the look. It's definitely a different take on the athleisure trend. And I'm sure a lot of people will have a lot of fun experimenting with it. <laughs> other colors that are very popular this season. So as we discussed, beige and some of the earth tones are going to be very heavy hitters, but some of the other colors that I just think are so beautiful is yellow. Now yellow, I feel, gets a bad rap. People either love or hate it, but you're going to see it in a really large spectrum this season. Anything from beautiful butter tones to heavy mustards have fallen on the runway for yellow. So there is going to be a really fabulous spectrum. You'll even see it in some of the neon brights, which is, which is its own trend in itself love yellow. Um, to me, it's just such a happy color. You guys would have seen in my last haul video that I picked up a really beautiful yellow sweater, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun to experiment with. The other colors of note that are also really popular this season is blue. Now, blue you're going to see in all sorts of shades. You'll see it from beautiful pale blues to really nice sky blues with that rich kind of robin's egg color. You'll also see it in nice dusty kind of versions as well. There's They're really running the gamut in terms of the shades that are available this season, which is fun because that means that there's going 
going to be something for everyone to make sure that the color is really flattering against your skin tone, uh, as well as coral. You know that that's Pantone's color of the year, so we're definitely going to be seeing coral in lots of different shades and varieties this season, which I'm particular is really, I'm really excited about coral because it's not something that you see all the time, um, but I think it's really a beautiful, fresh, elegant color for spring, summer. I love seeing it in a nice blouse and paired with a beautiful crisp white trouser. To me, that is just so elegant. <laughs> next trend for spring, which will be no stranger to most of you, are fanny bags or fanny packs, I should say. Now, this is going to come as no shock. I had talked to all of you about belt bags last season, actually, I think even last spring as well. And the trend just doesn't seem to be going away. Now, this is one in particular I personally have not uh, embraced. Again, I really think you need to be strategic about where you put belt bags because it is a horizontal line and a statement piece you're putting on your body. And anytime you add detail to the body, you can shorten and widen an area. But I really do admire those that have worn them. I do think they look beautiful. I can appreciate the look of them. Uh, so my suggestion for those of you that want to play with some of the fanny packs or belt bags that are out there is to try and get one that has duality to it. So look for one that not only becomes a belt bag, but that you could also use as a crossbody option so that when this trend does uh, expire like many of them do eventually, you'll have another option or way of wearing it that still feels fresh and current without feeling like you've wasted your money. Spring trend is crochet. Now, this is one again, I can't, I don't know that I'll get into it. I just don't know. It has a very like 70s throwback to it, uh, kind of a beachy vibe, depending on how you want to experiment with this trend. It almost has a bit of a netting effect to it, if you will. Um, but you're going to see it in long maxi dress versions. You'll see it in shirts. I've seen it in skirt options on the runway as well. It's definitely a fun trend to experiment with, just not one in my personal style range. And that's why I don't think I I will wear it myself, but I love some of the clothing options I saw on the runway. And to me, this is something that would be a like great beach cover up, let's say, for example, because it definitely does have that kind of beachy California girl vibe to it, at least in my opinion, um, but was a very heavy hitter for the runways this season. <laughs> The next trend for spring that again has been going for quite some time is fringe. Now, typically when you think of fringe, or at least for me anyway, I think of, you know, leather jackets with fringe, leather trim. To me, it always has a little bit of a tougher vibe. I don't know if that's just how I think of it, but this season fringe is again, it's everywhere. But this time I think it has more of a feminine take. You get a little bit of that 1920s flapper feel. I know that was sort of the vibe that I got anyway from Tom Ford. He had done full skirts and fringe that to me looks so glamorous. They really framed the body beautifully and created a really fabulous movement to them. But again, it had that kind of take from the 1920s flapper that I really got from it that I think could be a really fun way to experiment with things. So again, if you have coats at home that have a fringe on them or shirts maybe that have fringe or um, perhaps like pants or trousers from some of the past seasons recently that had fringe on them. Hold on to them. They're going to be so fun to continue to play with this season. They're still going to look really fresh and modern and there is no wrong when it comes to fringe. Again, it's on everything from your clothing to accessories. <laughs> Another fun trend for the season is puffed sleeves. We are seeing a lot of voluminous shoulders happening on the runways for the spring season. Now, this is something that, again, people are either going to love or hate. I personally love the idea of adding a little bit of volume to the shoulders. This is more like based around the top of the shoulder. So you're seeing a little bit more fabric gathering and a little bit more volume in that area, which I actually think is a really beautiful feminine touch. This could also be great for any of you that may have sloping shoulders or more narrow shoulders. This could be a great way to add a little bit of volume to your frame and have it be really, really complimentary. Um, so this is something I think could actually be really cool to experiment this spring season. <laughs> the next trend for the season, and again, one I'm not sure I'm going to embrace is tie-dye. Tie-dye definitely has a very 60s and 70s feel, but for some reason for me in particular, I always think of the bad 90s tie-dye. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's because I grew up in a, like that era and I think of more of the homemade DIY versions of tie-dye that I had done as a child. Um, 
So to me, again, this is more of that beachy kind of California vibe. Um, it's definitely got that kind of vintage retro feel to it. And I'm sure that there's ways that you could probably style it with trousers and a blazer to tone it down a little bit and maybe elevate it, especially if you're getting a tie-dye more in a neutral. I think that's going to be a great way to kind of elevate the piece. But other than that, I'm not sure I'm going to go there. Just me personally, but I'm not sure. <laughs> is hair clips and hair bands. They are having another moment again in fashion. Now, I always think of the fictional character Blair Waldorf from Gossip Girl when I think of headbands in particular, but they are so chic. They're an ageless, easy thing that you can experiment with in terms of trends and really, really have fun with it. Uh, in particular, the hair clips for me are something that's really catching my eye this season. Again, it's affordable. It's easy to play with. There are definitely designer versions out there, so if you want a high-end version of these clips, than all the power to you. They're great, but I personally can't see myself investing like $300 for a hair clip. Um, to me personally, I just, I can't find that to be reasonable, but again, you can DIY uh, some of these hair clips and put pearls on them or embellishments or sayings or, you know, prints, whatever. There's going to be so many fun ways to play with this, but I think they'll add something special to the hair. It's been a while since we've had a moment with head pieces where people really embraced the head as an accessory item in addition to obviously the rest of our clothing. So I'm excited to see how people are going to play with this. And the very last trend for the spring season are ruffles and ruching. So we're seeing a lot of fabric gathering happening or that happened on the runway. And this is actually one that I think is really beautiful and it has a really beautiful feminine finish to any look. So you're going to see a lot of shirts with, you know, maybe... Um, ruching or gathering or ruffles like around the shoulder or my, maybe you'll find a blouse with some ruffles around the sleeve like that'll be a really beautiful soft touch to any look I think it could look really elegant on a nice blouse that you could dress up or down for work or for evening uh, you'll see ruffle details on bags and I've seen it on some trousers and I've seen it on skirts that have a really beautiful soft flowing hem um, but again ruching along with that that gathering of fabric is also going to look really beautiful for those that feel more self-conscious about their tummy area. Let's say, for example, if you find ruching on a shirt or dress that kind of cuts across the stomach, it's going to have a really beautiful camouflage if that is an area that you feel more self-conscious about on your body. And again, it's going to look really, really beautiful. I think this is one that we're going to have a lot of fun with over the season. I think this is one that will pick up very quickly for a lot of people because it does have such a whimsical touch to it and kind of a romantic touch. Anyway, my angels, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If any of you are in interested in becoming a stylist. The registration for my stylist program is currently open until February 25th. I will leave the registration info down below in case any of you are interested. And other than that, my angels, I love you guys to the moon and back, and I will see you again very soon. Bye guys.